you've also, and, and you know, I don't like to go in these dark mm -hmm. spaces. Mm -hmm. You have, though, been open with your fans about even the prenup aspect of it. Yeah. As a successful woman, yes. financially independent, that you broke your own rule, if you will, about I prenup? always say prenup for everyone because it protects both parties. I used to date an agent, an NBA uh, agent, and he would see all of these guys, you know, that made $100 million and then they get married and it was taken away. So he would always tell me, you know, prenups protect. He would show me the prenups and I understood it. But when it came to my marriage, I, I said I wanted prenup. He was adamant about not having one. And um, yeah, I regret not having one because my divorce right now is taking over. It's still pending. Still pending over two years now because we didn't have a prenup. We What's up, mamas? Tiffany Chanel here with Mom's Money Mindset. I wanted to get on here to talk to you about this video. Y'all have to excuse me, I just came from outside. I literally made this video outside, but the wind was so strong that it was overpowering my voice. So really quickly, um, hindsight is definitely 2020. When you enter into a relationship, a marriage, you're not expecting to enter into that marriage to get a divorce, but you should be entering into a relationship um, making the best decisions for your finances and for your family and future. Should that marriage not work out, what do you end up with? What does your partner end up with? If you don't have a prenup, your partner could have collected a lot of debt during the marriage. And so that's another thing. Sometimes you might get into a marriage and neither one of you have a lot of debt, right? But then you're working on financial freedom, but your partner has something else in mind, gets into a lot of credit card debt or business debt, whatever it is, taking out loans, whatever it is, and if the marriage doesn't work, now you are 50% responsible for the debt that they took out because you didn't have a prenup. Um, also, let's say you're both entering to the relationship with, with um, making a great salary, each one of you. But one of you may have assets and the other not have assets. So you have to consider that. Just because someone makes a great salary or makes twice as much as you doesn't mean that they don't have as much to lose as you. Um, I speak this from experience. I, I remember uh, very clearly my mom suggesting, why don't you get a prenup before you get married? And I'm like, uh, you know, he makes way more than me. And, you know, we don't plan to get divorced. And, you know, I'm just thinking through things in la la land. And then later on, when we ended up in divorce, I ended up having to pay him. And so just because someone makes more than you doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a lot to lose. A prenup protects everyone in the relationship. It protects you and it protects your partner. The assets that you entered into the relationship with um, is yours. The, the liabilities that you entered into the relationship is yours and not the other person's responsibility and vice versa. Um, also, you know, it protects your children. Because when you're going through a divorce and you have kids, it's stressful on the kids as well. They feel the energy that you're experiencing. And if you have a prenup in place, you're not going to stress yourself or your partner out and you're not going to stress your kids out. And so I'm not here to tell you, you need to get a prenup. That is not my job. I'm here to give you as much information as possible so that you can make an informed decision. This is Tiffany Chanel with Mom's Money Mindset. And remember, we are moms with a money mindset. Bye.